In this video, we will see what are different options available with the new SAP Antics Cloud. Uh, recently, I have purchased this uh, trial version again just to go through many things. And I see uh, I got this version, which is 2021.12.1. Uh, uh, this is the latest version which is there. And I have got this and I just wanted to share that with you as well, what, how it looks like and what are the things available. Uh, the very first things which I see that uh, these are the icons which are coming on the left, which is very good means it was not earlier. It was very sm uh, simple look and feel of this SAP Antics cloud. And then it came about the uh, profile settings as well or home screen settings. If you go this, uh, then we do have some uh, default tab means. Uh, so this is what uh, we can change. So this was earlier, but however, I see there are uh, themes which is available new themes whatever the home page uh, themes which we wanted to see if you wanted to have the light version or something which is uh, some other uh, version so we can just do that and that it it is going to change like this so these are the th things which is one thing which is i have found um, there are other things which you can see this is something which is from uh, files uh, is there uh, stories is different things which is available here where we can see uh, different stories which we can create. Uh, we do have some uh, files which are available as sample file for just our understanding. Uh, then uh, we do have uh, this antique applications or uh, data sets, modeler, uh, data actions, allocations, and these are the different things which are available with this. And now uh, we do have this content network as well uh, where we can, uh, it is as useful for our the de deployment uh, things as well. Uh, where we can deploy our stories to, to other systems. Uh, this is security, though it is not enabled here just because it is my trial version. Uh, then we do have this uh, transport is another option which is they have added here. I think it was earlier just export or import and uh, uh, it is a separate thing here as a transport and you can see that uh, export and import which is useful for the deploying our stories from one uh, system to other. Uh, now that this option is about the account where if you have a trial version or if you wanted to purchase means we can do it from here the license version and then we do have uh, these connections what the connections uh, we can connect uh, there are so many things which uh, we can connect but in trial version there are some limitations and we cannot connect to all the live data sources so you can see some of the connections are disabled so this is how it looks and lastly is a system where we get information about um, this monitor and administration is the sum of the admi administrative tasks if you have admin privileges then you can see it uh, the synonym definitions and about so these are the things which are available uh, one interesting thing i wanted to show you here is about the antex designer and which is very helpful so if you go to this uh, antic applications so when you click on this antic applications this is a screen which comes and where we can create a new analytic application so this is fine However, I wanted to show you means the sample files or the dashboards or many other things which has been they have added, which is very useful to understand many new things because uh, analytics designer or the scripting is one difficult or complicated things which we can see that it is not easy to implement. So SAP has added few uh, applications or demo applications which we can go through and we can understand this. Now here you can see these are some of the reporting dashboards where uh, adding a remote dimension in rows and columns of the tables. We can sh uh, show how you can build KPI dashboard, uh, how to use planning action, data action trigger. So in, in Antics Designer. And there are so many things which are available. I'll be going to take this, um, some of the uh, demo applications just to go and just to explain you all means what what it is and how it looks like and how we can understand uh, those things. So this is going to be, I think it's very uh, interesting and uh, it is going to be helpful for us because uh, whatever help they have provided earlier as well, that in terms of Antics Designer, it is not that uh, helpful. However, when it comes to practical coding or scripting, uh, it was very quite difficult and it was not uh, easy to understand. So now with the help of these applications, we can uh, get to know about what are the different things. So let's, I have just opened one of the application here, how it looks like. And uh, this, this is what, how it looks like. So we can just remove all the columns and then uh, it, it will not show up anything. Uh, there are measures and dimensions which can be added and uh, removed from here. We can just say set selected. I just wanted to see uh, two fields. Uh, so it is automatically taking one dimension and the other discussion. Uh, so 
this is one thing we can have these options and we can see how the scripting is done in a, uh, inside this uh, application so that that is something which is useful so when we edit this application uh, we can see uh, their scripting by looking at the scripting of this application we can understand means how this uh, what what type of coding or what scripting we can do now when we are, try to add uh, edit this application let's try to see means how it can be so edit analytic application and uh, just uh, we can see in the designer mode uh, what are the different things which has been used means how this uh, buttons has been used for what purpose this is used and we can go through the scripting of this edit script and on click we can see so this is one of the line which is written for how set measure filter and uh, where it, it shows and checkbox groups measure so these are things which we can understand i will be going through one of the uh, these demos in my next videos uh, just to understand you just to explain you all the details one by one means how this can be useful uh, so that's what i feel means this is going to be very important and um, these are the tables and there are things which is available here pop-up script variables all these things has been used and that's what means how we, we can understand means how this can be useful now um, when we take this trial version we can see new features are available check them out you just if you just click on this uh, a new help window comes where it shows what are the features which are available and it shows that uh, there are different different versions available you can see the previous version as well here 2021 uh, from starting from 1 to 11 12 so this is the 12th month uh, 12th version of 2021 uh, that's what it is right now and it can see this is the first in-store and digital room creation workflows you can choose the catalog view to select files that have been published to the catalogs so such as data sets and um, so this is something which we can see it here and then planning uh, planning we do have uh, some some of the new features i think we can copy comments from one version to another when creating a private version uh, this is again another value driver trees which is there uh, a structure allocation and uh, you can see some other features which is smart product mobile analytics designer uh, we do have analytics designer uh, its administrator can grant private insight privilege to these users uh, we can now log log the performance of the scripts used in the analytic or application using the parameter so this is something uh, performance logging uh, parameter is added uh, then system administration notes uh, there are some notes available here and which is we can you can read out this all these things and uh, you will understand means what the features and how it can be helpful for us so i will be coming with some more videos on ssc antics designer and some of the features which i feel is important uh, i just wanted to share my knowledge with you as well so that will be helpful for you and that's what i wanted to explain you if you have any comments suggestions do let me know in the comment section if you like my video then please like it and subscribe to my channel as well thank you for watching